I mean, you know, we focused a lot on transition defense. We, we focused a lot on post defense because they're a little bit bigger than us. I thought the job we did on their three bigs was phenomenal. Um, tried to front the post. When, when we got caught behind, we tried to dig in the post. I thought we did a, not, not a good job, but a great job. Um, you know, to out-rebound them, um, you know, it's something that we felt like even if we could out-rebound them by one, that would, that would be, you know, a stat that maybe could tip the scales in their favor. Um, they hurt us on baseline out-of-bounds offense, so we got to get way better at that. Um, and I thought we kept, even though they scored 93 points, I thought we kept them in check uh, in transition until late in the game. Uh, you know, when Nemhard just started, you know, dribble driving hard to, to the right hand. And uh, we went small, and that opened up some dribble drive things. But we also, you know, just tried to keep the game, you know, where we had some type of lead. And then, you know, they got whatever, 10 out of 13 guys returning, and then they add two great transfers um, we're all new we're still trying to figure out a lot of stuff so I thought you know to play in a close game like that's important for our growth would you tell them at halftime that allowed you guys to go on a 12 and 2 run in the second half just you know that we needed to continue to uh, to try to get to the cup um, I thought defensively you know there was a stretch you know late uh, first half that we let our guard down a little bit. Um, we would make a three and then they would come down and make a three and that, you know, was, was, was frustrating. Um, you know, that we didn't, you know, lock down after, after we made a three because the game was, you know, uh, so close. But I mean, if you would have told me before the game that we would lead for, you know, 30 minutes or 29 minutes, and, I mean, that's, you know, the, it's pretty hard to do against them, and it's really hard to do when, when we've only had one game together. You had a long stretch there where they didn't get any defensive stops. Uh, with dribble penetration and spot up threes, is that kind of the formula there for you? Yeah, I mean, we just you know want to try to get to the free throw game, attempt game. We wanted to you know make it choppy, and any time you can get to the basket and score, it can slow down runs. And obviously, Gonzaga does a great job of of pushing the ball and, 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 and making scoring runs. And then, um, you know, the, the, the thought of trying to get their bigs in foul trouble is, is the same thing we tried to do um, a couple of years ago with Chet Holm. And, and I, although nobody, you know, I didn't know it was going to happen, but the, the no foul out thing, you know, all of a sudden, and because Ike fouled out, like, so did the other big. So, um, you know, so for us, that was a little bit of what we, you know, wanted to try to do. But, I mean, they're so well coached. He's a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, they execute so well. They play so fast, you know. And then the thing that they do a great job is play fast and then back it out if you don't have something. There's not a lot of teams that can get the ball across half court in the first six seconds like they do and then have the discipline if they don't score in transition to get into their ball screen motion. So, um you know, like I said, though, we got a lot of areas to get better at. I thought Gonzaga, that's the best I've ever seen a team execute in BOB since I've been coaching. I thought they cut hard. Um, I thought they got to their spots really, you know, well. Um, but I thought our transition defense, like I said, was, was really good, even though we gave up, um, you know, 93 points. And we, and we played at the pace that we would like to play. I think it was 85 in game one. And now, um, you know, this game was, was close to 100. And, and we understand in the Big Ten it's going to be a lot more possession games and a slower pace, but we can only control when we have the ball. And I thought we played with pretty good pace for, for, for most of the game. It seems, it seems like you had different players carry you at different times. Nolene for a while in the first half, Williams down the stretch in the second half. Is that what you want to do, go to the hot hand, look at the hot hand? Yeah, well, Nolene is um, a matchup problem. Um, and he's like a point forward. He's super unselfish. And, you know, we're kind of letting him play in space and then play off of him. Um, and he's a, he's a really important, you know, piece to us. And then we ran some plays for T-Will because um, we thought that, you know, with his experience and, and maybe matchup-wise that we could get him off some screens and some spot-ups. And, and, um, and then he came up big for us. What was it like uh, playing against one of your former players? And what's Gonzaga going to get with Caleb uh, this season? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best free throw attempt players in the country. He's explosive. He can score 12 points in a, in a hurry. 
he's going to win games for you. Um, anytime the offense struggles, um, he, can, he can get you a bucket. He's going to turn the game into a four-on-four -four game because people are, if they're smart, they're not going to leave him. Um, he's a competitor. Um, you know, and he's, like I said, he's one of the most explosive scorers um, in, in the country. And, he, and he's a great foul shooter. Anything surprise you about what happened tonight from your team? I don't know. I mean, we're picked to finish whatever, 15th in the Big Ten. And we yeah, came you, out and played. you didn't look like that. Yeah, we haven't looked like it since we've been together. I mean, our guys are, are, are a tough group. Like, they, you know, again, this doesn't mean anything other than we have, you know, 40 minutes of game tape to look at. And we, we found some holes that we have to drastically get better at baseline out of defense. And, and um, you know, we can clean some things up, up offensively, too. I, I thought we, you know, got stuck a little bit at times offensively. But you're going to when we run ISOs and try to create mismatches. That's... Sometimes that happens to us for, for two or three minute stretches. It seems